Hey, thanks for tuning in to my vlog of a recovering Pharisee. The Pharisees of Jesus' day were the religious leaders and teachers who were well versed in the law. They knew the scriptures really well and yet they crucified the Savior. The religious leaders during Jesus' day were the ones responsible for killing him. And similarly today, religious leaders and teachers bound by a pharisaical spirit are killing Jesus. And what I mean by that is the church, which is supposed to be a place where Jesus is lifted up, where men can be drawn to him, where, where Jesus is supposed to be the main thing. What has taken the place of that are the traditions of men, the rituals and customs, and it's the same thing with the, the Pharisees of Jesus' day. Their, their customs, their traditions, they were following the traditions of men. They weren't following Jesus. Um, and today, we have that. We have men, religious leaders, uh, women, religious teachers who are following organizations and guidelines um, and traditions of men that does not line up with Jesus Christ. And so you have a, a man or a woman being exalted and Jesus is kind of pushed, pushed to the back burner. A person with a pharisaical mindset or pharisaical behaviors are going to be very self-righteous. Uh, they're they, they are going to teach a lot about the law. Uh, that, that's going to be their main focus because to them, their salvation, whether they realize it or not, is based on what they do or what they don't do. Their relationship with God, uh, um, them being saved is contingent on their good works. And so it's going to be a person that's very self-righteous, very judgmental, uh, but not judgmental in the way that Jesus talked about. Um, they are going to be very hypocritical. They're going to uh, be very legalistic and wear a lot of faces. So they'll have one face when they're at church. And they'll have another face when they're with their family. Then they'll have another face when they're with their friends or another face when they're at their job. But they're really good at pretending on the outside. The, the outside appearance, the way things appear to look, is very important to a person that is bound by this pharisaical spirit. Um, they're very focused on their reputation and their appearance. And they spend little, if any, time um, on, on the inner man, on fruit of the spirit on allowing the Lord to search them to see if there is any wrong way in them. Um, and so they spend a lot of time on the law and rarely, if any time, on helping people come into a personal relationship. And so then they develop more people with a pharisaical mindset, with a legalistic mindset, um, people who don't have a relationship at least not a personal, genuine relationship with God. If you are someone with a pharisaical mindset or struggling with pharisaical behavior, it's probably difficult for you to hear these things, to watch this vlog. Um, even more so, you, you it would be almost impossible for you to self-reflect after listening to this. The Pharisees of Jesus' day, they would listen to what he said. I mean, they made it a point to pay attention to what he was saying, but it was only to accuse him. They weren't able to listen to what he was saying and step back and think, oh, is this true about me? Or to even consider it. Um, but... It was because they had so much pride in their hearts. Their hearts were so hard that they weren't able to even consider what he was saying. <clears throat> Though he, they would listen to it, um, but they were extremely offended. And so as the weeks go on, I want to create a safe space for us to uh, learn about some of these pharisaical mindsets and pharisaical way of being some of some of what this you know religious spirit that um is causing people to 
follow men that aren't necessarily uh, following Christ. Uh, they, they have good intentions. These women have good intentions. They mean well, but they have become distracted. They've become beguiled in a lot of ways. And, um, and they don't look like Jesus. They look like other men and women who are um, following other men and women who are not making it a point to follow Christ. And so I want to help us to become more aware of those things in an effort to expose who Jesus is so that we can behold him and become more like him. And so just to start that off, I, I want to encourage you once this vlog is done to grab a piece of paper and a pencil and uh, sit down, quiet your soul and your mind and ask the Holy Spirit. Is any of this operating in my life? Is any of the, the leaven of the, the Pharisees, is any of that in me? Has that spread throughout my life? Has that spread throughout my congregation? Has that spread throughout my family? And to just, with a heart of humility, uh, just knowing that God is so merciful. And, um, you know, Jesus told us that the Holy Spirit would take what was his and give it to us and that the Holy Spirit would bring us into all truth. And so I'm, I'm really excited for the weeks to come. And I'm really grateful that you would join me and, uh, you know, step back and self-reflect and allow the Holy Spirit to wash and cleanse us with, with his word. And so God bless you. Um, if you're interested in more hands-on tools and information on dying to this old man and accepting the righteousness of Christ, accepting the identity of Jesus Christ and just all that has been freely given to us by his blood, um, I want you to check out my website and some of the programs that I offer at oldlifeexchange.com. And I'll see you next time.